Okay, so welcome back. Uh, today I'm actually going to show off a um, stereo system that I've just recently altered. First we're looking at my wife's plants, which live in the living room here. Um, and just over here is the second stereo system set up here in the lounge. Uh, it's a Riga P1. Uh, this is a great album, by the way, Directions Echoes, so that's in there at the moment. It's just an EP, uh, but it's a really good EP. I'll just get that out of the way so you can see the Riga. It's the old Riga P1, uh, so it's about 10 years old. It's got the standard autophon. I'm not sure what number the autophon is, uh, but it's just got that autophon stylus. And I've paired it up with a Cambridge Audio, um, what is it? It's an AXR85. Now there's the AXR100, but both the 85 and 100 are very well reviewed. Uh, I just didn't need the extra grunt that the 100 would give. Uh, what I really wanted with this was the um, second uh, speaker terminals because I'm going to set up some speakers outside. So it's sort of tucked over here in the corner of the living room so that I can set some speakers up with some speaker cables that will go out outside and out into the um, outdoor courtyard area. It's very wet and windy out there at the moment. And um, I just recently added, these are my children's uh, little digital piggy banks, um, I just added a Denon DVD player and so I can listen to CDs through here now. So for a while it was set up only with the turntable, so it was pretty much just my turntable set up and the listening position is over here. So that's where you can sit, see that, let me zoom in on it. That is the best listening position for this particular setup and you can see some of my CD collection there but if we go over here this is the the um, the speakers here which are um, Monitor Audio Bronze 2's. Now they have the, I, I do like taking the grills off because they are quite beautiful to look at so I'll just take the grill off. Okay there we go. Um, yeah sometimes when you try and do things one handed you can sort of do something wrong like pull it off and then knock something whatever. Um, but yeah they're, they're really nice um, speakers actually. They sound really good with this particular setup and of course because I'm a CD collector not so much a vinyl collector although I do obviously have some vinyl and I really do enjoy listening to vinyl when I do and it's um, entry level you know Riga P1 I think if you're interested in entry level turntables um, you could go for Project as well and I think in uh, the US they have something called U-Turn they seem to be those sort of entry level turntables very good quality, good sound uh, And but now I've got a CD player as well so this um, Denon is pretty much a DVD player but it also has a very good um, DAC for playing uh, CDs uh, it's the 1740 there was one that came out, the Denon 1940. Pretty old now, I don't know if you'd be able to get the 1940 or the 1740, but the 1940 used to be able to play, um, or can still if, if people have it, the um, Super Audio CDs. This one doesn't, it just plays standard CDs and obviously DVDs. What I really like about it um, is that it's a zoneless DVD player. And those seem to be kind of hard to find of, of good quality. So Denon is uh, good quality in terms of DVDs. Uh, this KEF subwoofer is not actually linked to this system, it's linked to my main uh, stereo system which is an Arcam Solo, which is down here and that's linked up to the PlayStation for audio for 2.1, there's a Sony TV um, and of course I'm running DC1's so Tannoy speakers which are on stands. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a big Tannoy fan, um, this combination of the Arcam and the Tannoy is, is amazing and the listening position for that is our love seat. So uh, sitting there is really good for listening to that particular setup. So yeah, two stereo systems in the lounge um, and this one now that it's got a CD player as well, I'm really enjoying it, the sound quality is great. Uh, coming out of those monitor audio um, bronze twos. Uh, there is a new version of those, but I really like the aesthetics of these. I mean, it is just vinyl, um, imitation wood vinyl, but it still looks great. I love the, you know, the color and stuff. I, I leave the grills on because we have children, and I'm just a little bit worried <laughs> that if they fling something, they could damage the, um, 
the drivers there. Um, and they may, some, some may point out, they do possibly seem a little close to the wall, but they are front ported. Um, because they've got no sub attached to them, they've got a good amount of base, I think, because they are quite close to the wall. Uh, ideally, I'd probably move them a little bit further. I think they recommend 30 centimeters from a wall, but um, it's just the nature of the setup here. But when you're in that sort of sweet spot, it's a good combination of mids, highs, and low ends. So this is sort of like the mid spot. So yeah, um, that's my stereo setup. That's one of them anyway. I just thought it's about time to show off the actual systems that I'm, I'm listening to or listening to music on and then just coming over here. I think I need uh, some new furniture because I've st this is some overflow now and uh, this is about half my CD collection. Alright, so thank you and see you soon.